So my constantly going from 7 a.m. until 11, 12 o'clock technically, be 1 o'clock my time, for the last three days has caught up to me. <laughs> last night I left um, Idaho, Wyoming, and I wanted to make it through the Grand Tetons just to beat all the traffic that was probably going to come in this morning for the weekend. So I am stopped in Riverton, Wyoming. My husband had booked this hotel for me, which was fantastic to kind of sleep in a real bed and not in a car mattress anymore <laughs> for the last three days. And when I got here, guys, when you find a keeper, you find a keeper. He had Domino's ordered for me and waiting at the door when I walked it in to check in, which is just like crazy awesome because I got in around 11.30, almost 12 o'clock. Slept until internal clock woke me up around 6.30, 7 o'clock. Went for breakfast here at the hotel and then took another nap. <laughs> oh, but I'm on the road again today. I am going to do, it's about a four hour, five hour drive back to South Dakota area. I'm going to try to check out Devil's Tower, Spearfish Canyon, um, the Keystones, the Keyholes, here, see the Keyholes, Keyholes too. So the Keyholes, Devil's Tower, Spearfish, and then head back to Sturgis. But to be honest with you guys, I'm really tentative to go there. When I went on Wednesday, I took an Eagle Rider um, rental, just drove through LaSalle Street and Main Street just to check it out. There was not a lot of bikes. There's still a good amount of people, but I can only imagine what it looks like right now. From social media posts that people have been putting on I uh, it just makes me nervous so I might just go straight through straight through and head to the Badlands and make my way through Sioux Falls and maybe stop there I'm not sure I've got about two two days yet till I need to back be back home for the kiddos so this has been an epic adventure so far um riding yesterday with abby i will put that in its own video and I'll probably a link above my head here here somewhere um because that deserves its own moto vlog because it was just fantastic going through all those passes but yeah let's get on the road got a long way to travel back to wisconsin i didn't realize how far out i was until I really truly looked at it on a map. <laughs> but I'm so glad I did it. So, alright. Let's get on the road. So, people shop for motorcycle clothes and accessories at Sturgis. I buy wine. Lots of wine. <laughs> I got a couple from Firehouse Brewing. They actually have a winery as well. Um, Prairie Bella, I think it is. Prairie Berry. Prairie Berry. And then I went to uh, Bell Gioli um, and got a port. And they have a dessert wine too, so I'm super excited. These guys have 17% alcohol, 20% alcohol. <laughs> That's pretty much my um, merchandise that I'm bringing home for the weekend to commemorate Sturgis 2020.
Trail Biker, and there was um, Dirty D's, Meatball Rebel, a whole ton of people, which was fantastic just to kind of get to know in person, because you can only see and know so much watching videos or following them on social media, so it was pretty cool. They let me crash at um, their Airbnb driveway, thankfully, so I car camped there. Felt a little bit more safe compared to some of the other places that I had um, car camped <laughs> later or earlier this week, but it was great. Um, then this afternoon, I did all of the rest of the stops that I technically wanted to do before I left Sturgis. A lot of it included um, shopping, so my shopping doesn't really involve a lot of clothing merchandise. It involves food and drinks. So I stopped for lunch at a place that, that was um, well received, uh, the Firehouse Brewing Company. So I had two appetizers there and then I went over and actually tasted their 
Yeah.